The countdown is on until America's solar eclipse in five days. The moon is going to pass between the sun and the earth, creating the view of a lifetime, Kendall. And when we're looking at the path, uh, we, we obviously have been watching this path for years, right. knowing that this is what would happen. Mm -hmm. But there was that lingering thought. This is the month of April. Mm -hmm. What are we going to be dealing with? We know that people along the path, they, you know, it's the path of totality. Mm -hmm. That's where the view will be the best. It spans from Texas all the way into Maine. And the last eclipse, it was back in 2017. It might bring back some memories for some, but this year's eclipse is expected to be even better. The reason being, well, we've got that totality, which is going to last mm -hmm. longer. So in 2017, Carbondale, Illinois, for yeah. example, about two minutes and 41 seconds. This year, some spots could see more than four minutes of totality. Oh, so exciting. Which isn't bad, but then why don't you deliver the bad news? Oh, the clouds. Why'd you do this to me? I know. Yeah, the clouds. You know, that's the big issue, and we're mm -hmm. watching this very carefully. A lot of our forecast models, they're continuing to change. So understand that there's still the potential that some areas could have a, a pretty nice view, and then yeah. others, uh, maybe not so great. But no. notice. Dallas, that's the place where you'll Many. you Many. Yesterday it said carefully. few. I actually mm -hmm. appreciate the uh, the cloud cover forecast because this gives you a peek behind the curtain in a way. Yeah. When we're so far out, forecast models, they, they, they walk. Struggle, they go right? back and mm -hmm. forth. And cloud cover specifically, so challenging. The placement of where this storm could be, where these storms could be, will have an yeah. impact on where we see the clouds. And right now, the Midwest, it looks pretty good. Right. Look at Indianapolis. You know, yesterday it said many. I, I know. <laughs> and that's what's so crazy. I mean, it's going to be a nail biter. Yeah. For sure, in a lot of these cities, it's going to come down to the wire. I mean, again, like you mentioned just yesterday, it said many. Mm -hmm. There's a potential we could see some Midwest cities that are shrouded in clouds, and then other cities that have a perfect view, just even yeah. not that far away. So it really is dependent. But you have to understand that I'm trying to find the silver lining to all of this, Stephen, just yeah. to remind people that regardless if we do have um, clouds in your location, understand that we will still have uh, that transition, the environment mm -hmm. going from day to dusk. That's still going to be pretty remarkable. So it's true. I don't want people to get worried and not try to go out and see this event because, I mean, gosh, this is a uh, once in a generation event, maybe even a once in a lifetime once event. Once in a lifetime for so many. So exciting. And see. we're not going to change our course. Look, no, at, look at our team. We've got uh, our, our whole team going to be from Eagle Pass all the way into Vermont. Uh, and you're going to be in Indianapolis, quite an event that they have planned yes. at Indianapolis, Indianapolis at the Speedway. Motor Speedway. Okay. That's where I will be surrounded by uh, several hundreds of thousands of sky watchers. Can you I imagine. cannot wait. Uh, Janice Dean, Fox News senior meteorologist. She's going to be in Little Rock, Arkansas, taking in the sights. Robert Ray is going to join you, Kendall, which yeah. is fun. I will be down in Dallas. Casey Stiegel is going to be in Dallas as well. We have quite the team placed throughout, and uh, Max Gordon, who's chilly in Chicago, going to be over in Cleveland. Hopefully he gets in on, on some of that. Mm -hmm. The one thing to look at when we see an April eclipse, and this was the lingering question, would there be storms? Yeah. There is a new outlook that we got from this morning, and that includes Dallas. So not to spend too much time on this, but... It's good that Storm Prediction Center watching this already right. and giving this heads up because, hey, this is something that people from all over the world travel to see. Right. And if you go based on climatological norms, 20, 30 year averages, Texas is the hot spot to mm -hmm. be because that's where cloud covers normally cloud cover is, yeah. is the least. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the fact that we are already have a day six outlook, mm -hmm. this is a, a sad situation, but again, that's why I wanted to throw that out there. Yeah. To not cancel or change. Don't cancel plans. it. Just watch Fox Weather. Stay tuned. Yeah. We'll bring you the very latest. We assure you, again, Monday, 80 degrees, temps. It's going to be pretty warm It's going to be warm, and look, you need the sun to, mm -hmm. to develop storms, to and yep. totality begins in Dallas at 140 Central. The mm -hmm. duration's going to be for three minutes and 52 seconds. This is quite a window yeah. that folks Folks living in Dallas, folks traveling to Dallas mm -hmm. will get. And all you need is about that four-minute window right. where you don't have the clouds in front. And how many days have you, we, we seen where yeah. clouds develop and, and you're still, you still have the sun, a mix of sun and clouds. So I'm going for that perfect forecast. Fingers crossed. I'm staying optimistic for you, yeah. Stephen, and for myself as well. Got to hope, hope for the mm -hmm. best.